Hi, and welcome back to Purple Collar Life, the combination of my white collar day job and my blue collar rural living activities. In today's project, we're going to be replacing the belt for our mower deck on this John Deere X300 tractor. Now, a couple things you'll notice already from the start of the video. When I pulled the tractor in, I set the parking brake. I lowered our 42 inch edge deck all the way down using the height adjustment here on the center of the tractor. And I have locked the deck in that down position by lifting up on this lever while holding back on the pedal. A couple key things you want to start with is understanding what model your tractor is and what deck you have on it. I referred to the serial number. Ours is again an X300 John Deere. Our deck is a 42 inch edge deck, but by giving the serial number to the John Deere dealer, they made sure they gave us the right belt. In our case, for this X300 with the edge 42 deck, our belt is a part number M154621. Now this belt cost me about $67 at the time of this video, but I always recommend buying the OEM belt. The belt that's on here that went bad, you'll see is pretty shredded and it is not an OEM belt, we can tell by the color. So this has this kind of brownish color. The other belt that was on it was kind of an aftermarket belt and it's black. Tools that I'll be using, I've got a set of pliers to remove a spring, a 3 8 inch socket wrench, an extension, a 13 millimeter socket, a 15 millimeter socket, and my rigid impact gun, and of course, this John Deere belt. Let's get started. The first thing we want to do is remove the deck. Start that process by removing these pins. So I pulled the pin out. This is going to feed through the back. A little bit of upward pressure on the deck helps. I want to make sure we keep these together. I set mine right there. Same process on the other side. Okay, now we want to just slide the deck forward a little bit. Our goal is to get this front bracket off of the deck. Can also kind of roll the tractor backwards, but we are in park, so we'll just scooch forward. You can see how this comes out. Now what I like to do is just use a short bungee cord. Hold this up. Hook it on the frame, wrap it around a couple times. And that'll hold it up out of our way. We are going to go ahead and lift this up all the way. Turn this knob all the way up so it holds that in place. And that allows us to slide this out. Now if we had been sliding the deck out and the belt, this belt's not broken, but it's, it's torn up. If it wasn't torn up, we'd want to use our ratchet wrench to pull this. I'll show you how. Put the 3 8 wrench inside this square. And then just pulling this would give us enough release of tension to pull it off of the motor pulley. First thing I want to do is take this spring off to release the tension on that. So we'll just pull here. And that'll release that tension. We are going to grab our 13 millimeter socket and we'll take off this cover as well as loosen these two bolts by these uh, supports that keep the belt in place alongside the pulleys. You can see how bad that belt was. I think we're going to have to, yeah, we'll have to take these off also. And these are a 15 millimeter. Now, if you're just getting started in a garage and don't have these tools, I'll put the Amazon affiliate links to a 15 millimeter deep socket, a 13 millimeter regular, a 3 8 inch wrench, a pair of pliers, and even this rigid gun if you need something like this. So this one loosened up, the other one didn't. There's absolutely no reason for that to be on there that tight. I've got the bigger impact gun, this should take it off. So a little bit of loosening there and you can see how much wobble they have in them when they're not tight. 
Another thing you'll notice is that there is a very specific placement for this U-bolt. There's a notch that it has to go in, and I'll give you a shot of that. But I don't want to lose any of these pieces, so I'm just going to put this back on here, just starting to thread. I'll do the same on this side. Gives us enough room to get the belt out. Again, on this side, there's a notch for that to sit in. So when we put the new belt on, we'll be conscious of that. So here is our old belt. Not broken, but pretty tattered. We'll take our new belt out and we will compare. It's always a good idea to make sure they are the same length. As you can see, these two are. And there is a very helpful diagram on the top of our deck that we're going to reference. But before we put this on, we're going to go ahead and use air and clean that off. Right here on your deck, there's a good diagram of how this belt's going to end up. The very first place we're going to put it with the V side in, there's going to be a smooth side and a V side. We're going to put the V side down around here and into this bottom pulley. Then the next place it goes, if we're referring to this diagram, is up around each side pulley, just like that. Once it's around the side pulleys, we could actually put this bolt back in place to hold it in each one. We're not going to tighten those down yet, but that will hold these in place. Now, from the pulley, it's going to go almost all the way around the pulley. The smooth side of it is going to end up in between that U-bolt and the pulley. So you want to set that in place, put the U-bolt back in place, and make sure that you get the other side of the U-bolt in the notch. And that will make it be a guide for that belt. Again, we'll just get this finger tight for now to hold things in place. Same thing happens here. It's going all the way around the pulley. Then smooth side touching through this pulley. Pulley needs to set inside its seat. Now we want to make sure that we keep this straight so we've got the flat side of the belt up against the pulley. Same thing on this side. And there is our system for the belt. This end up here is going to go on the drive wheel of the motor, the PTO. We want to put this pulley back where it goes. We'll put our spring on the bottom and pull it back through that holder on the other side. Now before we slide this back underneath the deck, I just like to verify. So I've gone around this pulley, around the outside of this pulley, just like this, around the outside of this pulley, just like this, and then this side, same thing, outside of this pulley, up, flat, smooth side against the outside of this pulley, and this section forward to attach to the mower. Now once we get this under the deck, like I mentioned, we'll use this wrench, pull back on this lever. That gives us a little bit more stretch for this part of the belt to make contact with the PTO. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that on there for now while I slide it under the deck and reinstall. While we have this out, it's a good idea to give some pumps of grease to this point. And the grease I'm using, I'll put an Amazon affiliate link down below. This is a John Deere brand, TY6341. This same grease I use on all the Zerk 
service points of my John Deere 2210. Go ahead and use our gun to tighten all these points that we had loosened. Again, making sure we're staying in those notches in both spots. These belts are close but not touching. Switch back to 13 millimeters and put our cover back on. Now I like to go ahead and remove my bungee cord and let this front holder sit back in place onto the deck. Kind of let you wiggle things around as you need to. Just like that. And then we're going to lower our height adjustment again and reattach those back pins before we put the belt on. Same thing on the other side. This might be the trickiest part of the whole process. Getting your hands in here, getting this belt up over while pushing this wrench with the other hand. But once you've done it once, it's pretty easy. Remember to take your wrench out of here. So there's our belt. Back and through the pulleys. Go ahead and reset our deck to about three, three and a half inches. Hold the deck up till we get outside. Let's give it a test. Now I don't ever start up a mower deck in the garage. It's best to test it out here in the yard. We will lower our deck to our three and a half inch mark. And what we're gonna be listening for and watching for, I'll throttle up, then engage the PTO, and we're gonna be listening for any squealing, we're gonna be smelling for any burnt rubber smell, and we're gonna see if we mow with both blades evenly on both sides in just a small section of yard here. Throttle up, engage PTO. Sounds good. Disengage PTO, back up and take a look at our results. Looks good, even cut on both sides. I didn't hear any strange noises. So that'll do it. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, a quick tutorial on how to replace that mower deck belt on your John Deere X300. Now I think the previous owner of this tractor put an aftermarket belt, a different brand. Um, I always prefer using the OEM belts on these mower decks and on the transmissions for a Kubota, a John Deere, a Toro, any of the major brand machines. I think the OEM parts are the best for operation. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative or entertaining, please give us a thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. And if you're not already a subscriber, Go ahead and click that subscribe button. We'd love to have you follow us along here on our Purple Collar Life. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again the next time. Let's mow. I also like to keep a record. So I installed that new belt at 418.4 hours on our John Deere. X300 tractor.